The call to take industrial action comes after wage talks between government and trade unions reached a deadlock. Minister of Finance I Pumbushimi recently stated that increasing salaries of civil servants will worsen the deficit and consequently the country's debt, which will become unsustainable. He said government would need at least $1.2 billion to adjust public servant salaries and benefits, but the trade unions are not convinced. There are people who have been telling the working class to tighten their belts while their belts are loose. As workers, we implore every civil servant to vote in the numbers and vote to strike as a collective resolve against the right wing and work with the tendency of the government in which the plight of the working class is ignored and to embark on a total nationwide shutdown which will be the mother of all strikes in Namibia after independence. Kahangoro said the purpose of the strike is to persuade government to meet the workers' demands. There is, however, a sacrifice that workers will have to make. Nothing good will come on a, a silver platter. And people should expect that uh, the principle of no work, no pay will apply. You are fighting for improved conditions, for improved remunerations. And um, I think people should sacrifice for that. The balloting is spearheaded by Namibia Public Workers Union and Namibia National Teachers Union. The time and venue will be announced in due course. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventura.